Hello everyone. In this video, we will make applications containing pop-ups using the Python PY Simple GUI library. We will learn how to use text, get file and folder, OK cancel and yes no pop-ups. We will also make an example using scrolled pop-up. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. First, I transfer the PY Simple GUI library. You can use this code for transfer. I am importing the PY Simple GUI library. I can create an abbreviation using the as keyword. So now I will use PSG instead of PY Simple GUI. I will create a text pop up object. I am sending a string and title values to the function. I print the entered value to the console screen using the print function. Let's test the application. When I enter a name and press the OK button, the name I entered is displayed on the console screen. If I press the cancel button, even if I enter a name, it is printed as none on the console screen. Now I create a text pop-up object for surname. I'm copying and pasting. I am making the necessary arrangements. Actually, what I want to show you here is that the objects are opened in order. From now on, all pop-up objects I create will be displayed sequentially. I enter the name value. I enter the surname value. If I press the cancel button, the value none would be shown on the console screen even if I entered a value. Now let's learn how we can access any file path. I use the get file pop-up object. I am sending a string and title value to the function. I will show the selected file path on the console screen using the print function. I am entering the name. I enter my surname. I choose a file. The path of the selected file is shown on the console screen. Now let's learn how we can access the path of any folder on the computer. I will use the get folder pop-up object. I am sending a string and title value to the function. I will show the selected folder path on the console screen using the print function. I am entering the name. I enter my surname. I choose a file. I choose a folder. The path of the folder I selected is shown on the console screen. Now let's learn how to use the yes and no pop-up object. I am sending a string and title values to the pop-up yes no function. I show the variable on the console screen using the print function. I am entering the name. I enter my surname. I choose a file. 
I choose a folder. The option I selected is shown on the console screen. We can use the OK Cancel pop-up object instead of Yes No. I am making the necessary arrangements. I am entering the name. I enter my surname. I choose a file. I choose a folder. The option I selected is shown on the console screen. Now let's make a different example with a scrolled pop-up. I will create a text file. I add 500 turtles to the text file. I will show the text file I created in the scroll pop-up object. First, I open the text file with the open function. I will create a variable. I can save all lines to the variable with the read function. I send the text variable, title and font values to the scrolled function. The data in the text file I created is displayed in a scrolled pop-up object. In the next video, we will make an example of the progress meter object. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.